It has been a year and almost two months since the COVID-19 pandemic struck the world and everyone was forced to quarantine for months. This resulted in millions of people suffering from depression, anxiety, and loneliness. Businesses were shut down and even after a year, some have remained that way. However, some businesses decided to reopen even during the earlier stages of the pandemic, believing they were capable of keeping everyone safe. The Joyce Ray Patterson Center in St. Joseph is a business that decided to reopen as early as May 4th in 2020. The center is for those 50 years of age or older for them to stay active, get recreation, meet new people and have fun throughout the week. But because of COVID, these seniors are not able to fellowship the way that they are used to. We used to provide, you know, cookies and things like that. You know, like I said, we would buy it out of the budget that the, uh, the Pool Players Association has their own treasury and all that. We, we do certain things with the money. We, we buy lunches. We used to. We used to buy a lunch, you know, every so often for the members. Uh, we used to have breakfast here, you know, and that the center would pay for or the, the pool players would, would pay for. But since the pandemic, we can't do that. You know, we're hoping to gear it back up before long, you know, but. Lewis Lamb is a member of the Pool Players Association, and he was very disappointed that the pandemic happened. In a lot of ways, it was a disappointment that something like this, you know, had happened and, and was controlling my lifestyle, you know. Uh, I, like I said, just, wasn't able to get out and you know I, I don't know if I want to call it the boredom or what but it it, it was a big disappointment to me you know the negative would be the lack of communication and bonding that you can have with people mm -hmm. I think it's important to get a hug I think it's important to handshake it's important to see people's smiles on their faces uh, and the mask and the distancing has um, caused that to go away, and I'm afraid for our, our young children. Our young children should, uh, it should be welcoming that when you walk up to somebody, you give them a hug or you give them a handshake or whatever. And I hope that that doesn't change. I hope that we can reclaim that part of what we lost. With the pandemic, it was easy to forget about pre-existing issues because COVID took center stage. However, Donna Clark, senior kettle clerk for the center, brings attention to the battle seniors already face, which was a struggle in of itself. The down part of this job is watching some older people deal with life-changing diseases the Alzheimer's folks, you'll see a teachers are brilliant people who in a few months they're not sure who you are. And just to watch that deterioration is really tough. And personally it's hard on all of us. But we still try to approach them as an individual and, and let them know that we're here and we care. And sometimes they'll just remember a smile. Or they'll come in and they'll say, I, I sure could use a smile. And they don't know who you are, but they know that you would smile for them. Though it has been tough, seniors like Mary Brinson are thankful to have the Patterson Center open back up. When facilities open back up so we could start getting back together, that really helped as far as emotion, um, you know, the way we felt and, and uh, just being able to get that connection back together face to face. Brinson is a member of the crafts group called Monday Maids that have been coming to the Patterson Center for three months now and they've enjoyed all of their different crafts that they have the opportunity to make. Well right now um, we're doing embroidering a hand towel and at the end of this when they're all done we're going to draw and give each other a hand towel made by the other person which is interesting because we've had some in this group that have never embroidered. We've had some that's embroidered for years, so it's it's really something we've all enjoyed learning, teaching each other, and yet we'll have something ending up. Another senior, Cheryl Meister, has a gym membership with the center, and she explains how well the Patterson Center has been doing with keeping everything COVID-free and safe for everyone in the weight room. Uh, it seems as though they've adapted as we went along because at first nobody really knew exactly what we were dealing with and then they brought in the mask and using the sanitizing wipes before and after just in case somebody forgets. 
So it's they did a great job. Mm -hmm. They keep and they kept us open. I mean, a lot of the gyms were closed. We still got the people coming. We need that. Though St. Joe has lifted the mask mandate, participants and employees still wear their masks. I've had both my shots, and I have backed off on feeling I have to have my mask with me 24-7, but I still wear it when I'm out in public. Mm -hmm. uh, here at work, I take it off when I'm working behind the desk here, but if I'm up moving around, the mask goes back on. Mm -hmm. Wearing uh, my mask is a good example that we need to be cautious and careful still. Julie Noel has been the manager of the Joyce Ray Patterson Center for two years now. Noel explains in depth the steps her and other staff members took in order to ensure safety, which was no easy task at all. For our pool players, we had to really look at how they play that game and figure out a way for them to be able to come and play but do it safely. So we had one person that was responsible for the balls at that table and they were the only ones who could touch those balls during the whole time they were playing, unless they sanitized everything. If they shared a stick, then they had to sanitize the stick between uses. Also, for the card games and the Mahjong games, Mahjong uses little tiles, and everybody touches these things. So how do you keep it so safe for people? So it was um, instituting different guidelines for them to be able to try and keep it as safe as possible, like, um, you know, sanitize your hands frequently in between games. If one person's the dealer all the time and things like that, it was pretty difficult. Noel believes the center is exactly what seniors need to stay engaged. It's so important to stay socially connected. Um, you know, your mind ages and it can deteriorate just as fast as the muscles in the rest of your body can if it's not being used. Part of using that is not just doing puzzles and, and watching trivia programs on TV, but it's also speaking to people. And that actual one-on-one -on -one communication is so important, and this is a great place to get it, you know, and it doesn't cost anything to come in and talk to people here. And um, we have folks that just come in and read the paper, and then they leave, we, and it's, it's great, you know, they see a couple of people, they say hi, they've gotten out of their four walls. It's good for them mentally. Um, it's good for them emotionally, just to be able to have a place to go to that's not just home. Brinson would agree and knows that as humans, we need each other. I think it's a lot of things that keep us active, that, that keep us interested, uh, keeps us together. And it's this togetherness, I think, that we all need and missed, especially this past year. You know, it's, it's we need one another. I mean, we humans are gregarious. We, we need each other. And uh, I think the center does a good job with that, of different activities that create interest for different people. Now that more people are getting vaccinated and taking COVID seriously, it has allowed the center to provide so many programs that all can enjoy. Encourage your family members to get out the house and visit the Joyce Ray Patterson Center to have a sense of normalcy again. Hopefully one day, everything and everyone will be back up and fully functioning while staying safe. Reporting for Griffin Media, this is Brianna Reed.